Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do triangles in 3D. Now the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between a 3D and a 2D. When we are working with a 2D, you will see they do not discuss different planes. As you can see, all of these angles are in one plane, which means that had I want to calculate this angle, I could simply say 61 minus 42,5. But when we're working in different planes, then I cannot generalize and say that this is one angle. Or I can't say, hey, if this is if this is 30 and this is 40, I can't say, okay, so together it's 70 because they are actually totally different triangles. So when we are in 2D and 3D, you must remember in 2D, two dimension, the angles are linked. It's like you have one triangle or one angle in the same plane. But when they are in 3D, then you cannot do that. So I can't link this B with this B. They are not next to each other. Okay, let us do the following example. It says that a climber wants to calculate a distance on a mountain. From B, the angle of elevation to A is 61 degrees. And then the angle of elevation to F is 42,5 degrees. And they are telling us that it is 90 meters higher, which means that the distance that I'm traveling here, or I'm covering, is 90 meters. And the angle of elevation from B to F is 42,5 degrees. Then they further say that the angle of elevation from F to A is 72 degrees. If I want to calculate BA, how do I go about it? Now, when you're doing these triangles, Always try and get the most information that you can. Because remember, the more information you have, the easier it is to work with. Now, if we're looking at this specific triangle, we can calculate ABF. ABF is going to equal to 61 minus 42,5. Now, how come we are allowed to do that? Because they tell us that this is in one plane. Remember, when they're in one plane, they work together. But when they are not in one plane, they do not work together. So we have that angle ABF is equal to 61 minus 42,5. That will give me 18,5 degrees. So I now have that this little piece is 18,5 degrees. But let us take out the triangle. I now have that this is 18 comma 5 degrees, I have that this is 90 meters. What do we need? We have an angle, we have another side. They want us to calculate BA, which means if I look at this triangle, I need more information. I either need to get that A or I need to get this length. How do you go about doing it? Now, if you look at the big triangle, you can calculate the entire value of BAC. BAC is going to equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 61 degrees. Sum of angles of a triangle. Which means that the entire of BAC is going to equal to 29 degrees. But that is not part of the triangle that we just constructed. We only want A1. Now, let us take this specific triangle. Remember, angles of a triangle are very handy. They're very, very useful. So you must make sure wherever you can fill it in, you must fill it in. Now, A2 is going to equal to 180 degrees minus 90 minus 72, which is equal to 18 degrees. Now, if the entire thing is equal to 29 degrees. From BAC, we've got that it is 29 degrees. And if this A2 is equal to 18 degrees, then what does that tell me about A1? A1 is going to equal to 11 degrees. So here, in this triangle that we constructed outside, 
we now have that A1 is going to equal to 11 degrees. If you see, what do we have here? We have a set. Now go over your grade 11 triangle before attempting this and you'd see it's much easier. Once we have a set, then we know, hey, I'm using the sin rule because remember a sin rule, you need, need a set. Can I calculate this angle here? I have that one angle is 18,5. I have that one angle is 11. So BFA is going to equal to 180 degrees minus 18,5 minus 11, which is equal to 150,5 degrees. Now we have that this is 150,5 degrees. Now I prefer that when we want to calculate a side, we have the side on top. So it would be A sin A is equal to, in this case we're working with F, so it would be F over sin F. Fill in the information you have. You have that A is 90 all over sin of A is 11 degrees is equal to, we don't have F. F is what we want to calculate, which is A, B. All over sin of F. Now, what is sin of F? 150,5. Now, to get A, B alone, I'm simply going to time by sin 150,5. And what you do on one side, you're going to do on the other side. Be careful, use your calculator correctly. So now you can type it into your calculator. So we have now that AB is equal to 232,26 meters because they had told us meters in the beginning. Now the next question is calculate AF. Now look, AF is also on the triangle. So again, we're going to use the sun rule. Now, they want us to calculate AF. If you take the triangle that we were just working with, so we're taking it out. I now have that this is 232,26. I have that this is 90. I have that this is 18,5 degrees. I have that this is 150,5 degrees. And I have that this one is 11 degrees. Now again, if you look, if I want AF, I'm still working with the same triangle. And again, I can use the sin rule. So I'm going to have, I want to calculate a side. So I'm going to say B over sin B is equal to F over sin F. For in the information we have, we don't have B, but we have angle B, which is equal to, we do have F now, and we have that sin F is 150,5. Remember, you could have also chosen to work with sin A and 90. Now solve for B, so we're going to cancel out, we're going to times the side by sin 18,5, use your calculator and get the answer, which is equal to 149,66 meters. Let us do another example. It is given that B, C and D are three points on a horizontal plane. Now, when they start using those words, you need to be careful. You cannot just join angles when they are in horizontal planes. They're telling us that, that BD is equal to CD, so BD is equal to CD, and they're labeling it M. They are telling us that BCD, angle BCD, is equal to X. So they're telling us that this angle is X. AC is perpendicular to the plane. That means that that is 90 degrees. The gray is your carpet. And the white is like your wall. So your wall is going vertical and your carpet is flat on the ground horizontal. So that is what they mean when they're saying two planes. Then they are telling us 
that the angle of elevation of A from B, so from B is equal to Y. Prove that AC is equal to 2M cos X tan Y. When you are looking or when you are trying to solve these equations, always start with the triangle that has the most information. Now, if you look at the gray, the gray plane, I have that this is X and this is M. Because it's an isosceles triangle, I now also have that that is equal to X. Now, once we have that, what would angle D equal to? Remember, when you're solving these triangles, you fill in as much as possible, and the angles of a triangle are a big help. Since we know this is an isosceles triangle, we know angle D is going to equal to 180 degrees minus X minus X, which is equal to 180 degrees minus 2X. Now look at this. We have this angle. We don't have this side. But we have this angle and we have this side. Now when we have a set, what are we working with? We're working with the sin rule. If I want to calculate a side, then I always prefer putting the side on top. So I'd have M over sin X is equal to BC over sin 180 minus 2X. Now, why am I trying to work with BC? The information they want is AC. But if you look at this triangle, you don't have enough information. You have a 90 degree and you need, have a Y value. You don't have any information. But what you do know is that if I am working with the gray area, which is your carpet, then I can calculate BC. And BC is a common side with both triangles. So it's the best thing to solve. Now, sin of 180 minus 2x is the same as saying sin 2x. Here we have m over sin x. If I want bc alone, I'm going to multiply by sin 2x. And what you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So we have sin 2x. Now remember from your identities, if you have a double angle, expand it as much as you can. So sin 2x would become 2 sin x cos x. And we still have it multiplied by m all over sin x. The sin x would cancel out and we now have that bc is equal to 2 cos x and our m, we can put the m in front. So we have 2m cos x. But they want ac. So now we have this as 2m cos x. Again, let us take the triangle out. The triangle we're going to draw is ABC. We have that this is 90 degrees. We have this, this is Y, and we now have that this is 2M cos X. Now remember, even though I'm drawing it like this, what you actually seeing is this. And if you feel you want to draw that, then you can draw it skew. It's no problem. As long as your information is still in the triangle. Now what do they want? They want AC. So again, triangles and their angles are very important. Can we calculate A? We know that angle A is going to equal to 180 degrees minus Y minus 90 degrees, which is equal to 90 minus Y. The angles of a triangle are extremely important. So we now have that A is equal to 90 minus Y. Again, we have a set, which is a sin rule. So it's going to be A over sin A is equal to. And then we're going to work with B over sin B. Substitute the information we have. We have that A is 2M cos X. 2M cos X all over sin 90 minus y, which is equal to b we don't have, and sin b is equal to sin y. Now what can happen to sin 90 minus y? Sin 90 minus y becomes cos y, it's a reduction. 
multiply by sin y because you want b alone and what you do to one side you do to the other side if you look we've got sin y over cos y sin y over cos y now what is sin over cos sin over cos is 10 so we have 10 y then we have our 2m and we have our cos x if we put it neatly it would be 2m cos x 10 y that is the value of AC. Let's look at the question. The question says, prove that AC is equal to 2M cos X 10Y. And that is exactly what you had just proven. So go slowly and work with the triangle that you have the most information of. Next, they say, if M is equal to 58 meters, X is equal to 65 degrees, and Y is equal to 40 degrees, calculate AC. Now, even if you made a mistake, in the first question. You can still get your marks by doing the second question. It's simply substituting. You have M is 58. You have cos X is 65 degrees and then you have 10 and Y is 40 degrees. Now use your calculator and your final answer would be 67,3 meters. Thank you for watching.